everyone. What is up? Welcome to Clash of Clans with Pablito, Pablito. Uh, and I'm coming to you live from my bedroom on my California King bed where it is comfortable. Um, one day I will be able to show you guys what I'm doing, but I don't, I'm don't. i not really sure how all that works where the camera looks back at me and then you guys can see what I'm doing. And I'm a bald guy, so you'll see my bald head and uh, a red beard. But anyways, uh, today's video is going to be short and sweet. Nothing really too exciting going on right now. Um, we were on a five-war win streak. Let me show you real quick. Five wins in a row. But that is about to come to an end right here because of this war right here. Uh, my attack on the one guy could have been a three-star, but I kind of failed epically. Maybe not epically, just a few spells away from actually in troop placement from actually hitting it the way I should have. Uh, we three-starred all the way up to the six. And we got an 85, an 85, and a 94. So we hit those town hall, two town hall 10s that were really town hall 9s. We hit them pretty hard, but we just weren't able to get the three stars in order to uh, go up there for the win. So uh, good good war, brothers team UZ. Uh, they three started all the way up to me, the one guy. And let's see how they did it. Um, we'll go with their, their six guy attacking our three level 10 heroes. This is an attack that a, a gentleman by the name of Frosty showed us way back in the day with, uh, with our clan. And it, it was pretty effective at the time. Seven healers, 12 Alks, you know, and then uh, two Hawks to try and draw the CC. But I think he ends up drawing them out without it. Uh, Day K from Brothers Team UZ hitting it hard um, with their with their six guy attacking R3. So this is what uh, kind of frustrated me because I have um, the R3 guy, Game Changer, is actually my second account. And uh, he has... A level 10 level 10 heroes and he just comes in and just whoops up on me and three stars my base and i can't even three star their three or four guy with my uh game changer account so <clears throat> he's creating a funnel right now with his queen uh doing doing work with that level 10 queen uh, i probably need to change out this war base because it's just uh it just got smashed right here that's my cat meow and if you guys could hear that so there he goes, drops the rage, draws the CC right there, which I don't, uh, brings in the hogs. Boom, bomb's going to take care of them. And just, man, this level 10 queen is just doing work. She's just taking no for, no for an answer. She won't take no for an answer because she's just demolishing. So boom, drops the bowlers, which he really didn't even funnel the bowlers because he left that left side open, and he's dropping the Valks in with his king right there. So... As you can tell, this is going to be a pretty good attack. You got that expo right there, the strong to the queen. He's still got three heals, and he's at 36% damage. So this dude's rocking and rolling right now. Drops the first heal, rage, queen, or the Valks go on the inside and just smash the inside of that base like it's nobody's business. Um, queen doing work over here on those Valks, but it's just not going to be enough. That heal's got them healed up, and he's still got one more heal with 60% damage already. Both expos down, and his queen's still up at full health with those uh, healers healing the queen over there. Still got the king's ability, still got two wizards for cleanup, and he's just smashing, smashing, smashing right now. He's got a few bowlers, which will do the, the damage that needs to be done. Probably about to pop that king's ability right here, take out that level 21 king. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's a three-star. Got That's a three-star written all over it. So a uh, nice attack from DK from Brothers Team UZ. You guys were an awesome clan that we just faced. Uh, you know, awesome job, guys. Just doing work, <clears throat> making it happen, and just making us look like little baby boys, just getting whooped up. Their five guy even uh, did work on us. So he's uh, Emma going against the stud, uh, a.k.a. Garrett, the future cop uh, in our clan. Level 2 golems, man, on a max town hall line base. Uh, just minus walls is 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 it? No healers. He, he's just gonna go in. He's gonna try and get the both these air defenses right here and the queen and the clan castle, all with that right there. So he's trying to get a lot of value out of this uh, kill squad right here with these level two golems, which is insane. I haven't even watched this attack yet, so this is new for me. <clears throat> so bowlers in the clan castle jump. I don't know what that jump was, but it okay. Trying to get to that air defense, I guess. So actually, there's a really good spell placement right there. First air defense down. The bowlers smashing through uh, everything. They're going to go over here, and I'm assuming they're going to get that air defense. But no, they're going to go left. They're going to get the king and that air defense before that. So he's got two Lava Hounds, 13 Loons, and two air defenses. So you can already kind of see where this is heading. Three Haste, one Rage, and it's just a nice hybrid attack. 
um, just doing big things, you know. What a great attack by uh, Emma right here. So this clan that we're going up against, they're uh, pretty well thought out on their attacks, and they're just making it happen. <clears throat> There's just not a lot that can be done at this point, except just to watch this base get smashed. Not a lot for cleanup, so he's he's trying to get a lot of his, out of his loons. He still has the queen's ability, and he's not going to get that last lava to, to pop. So really, he's just going against time right now, and as we can, we all know, time is on his side because he does three-star this base. So uh, great attack again, Emma. Nice uh, three-star attack. And hopefully we'll see you again one day because I'd like revenge, to be honest with you. Revenge is always uh, better sweet. So yeah, as you can tell, they just three-star, three-star, three-star. I'm kind of curious on, on what this attack is. Another hybrid. So yeah. <clears throat> um, our attacks, they were kind of decent. This is my attack on their one guy. Um, this could have been a three-star, but it wasn't. Uh, I dropped the queen and get a lot of value out of her, almost 30%. Uh, I didn't get the two-star, which is fine, but I really would have liked to have gotten it. <clears throat> like I said, my queen's level 40, so she's just doing work right here. Jordan wants any. Any what? I don't know. So, yeah. Getting a lot of value here out of my queen. She's going to the left, doing her thing. Uh, walking around getting healed and stuff by that rage and those three healers just uh, healing her very nicely Drop the king over here Trying to uh, just clear out this area right here. I don't know why I just had two wall breakers that really did nothing for me um, About to pop the king's ability smash this right here I leave this air defense exposed that way my lava hound can just focus on that I draw the CC right here uh, Gonna take the king out, but he got a lot of damage done before he went out. I'm already at 32% and I haven't dropped any any more of what my true uh, my true attack is going to be. So I still have the queen's ability. These minions are going to get toasted. Bye bye minions because we don't even like you. So get away from me. Um, I have to pop the queen's ability here because she can't take on uh, the queen level 35 and that dragon right there uh, exposing her. So here we go. I should have dropped my my uh, both my lavas down here. And I think I would have been fine because I, that one air defense draw both my lava hounds. So I really didn't get a lot of value out of my maxed out lava hound. So right here, I mean, I kind of crossed rages right there and I dropped a heal too early. That heal isn't really not doing anything. I probably should have dropped a haste over there and then dropped the heal right, right there to heal up all these loons that just got kind of just whacked out a little bit. Then that haste over here would have uh, hopefully got him to that... Uh, sweeper and then this air defense but no it didn't happen like that so yeah there was my epic fail <clears throat> only 70 percent or so and yeah you learn from your mistakes hey once again uh leave the script comments below let me know what you think um i need to figure out how to show attacks because i'd love to, to show up uh, my my fan supports attacks and uh, i, I want to get this channel to grow i really love clash of clans it's something i'm very passionate about i've been playing for two and a half years Dropped countless amounts of money into this game. And it's something I'm planning on uh, doing for a very long extended period of time. So uh, yeah, check us out. We're B-Royal, level 11 clan. <clears throat> and uh, YouTube Paul Weiss, because that's me. Or Pablito. Um, we're always looking for great members uh, to attack. We're always just looking for, uh, right now, Town Hall 9s and Town Hall 8s. Because we want to run We want to run like that. So we're also... Uh, Trying to get a voice thing going on as well <clears throat> for uh, just like to talk and plan out attacks. So yeah, uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Peace. Clash on forever and ever.